Are you, in like, are you in like a boomer like chat room or something or like a Facebook group for boomers, but you're like secretly are you? <gasps> okay, I'm done. Hi and welcome to Red Zeppelin Records. Under the influence, this is our Christmas <laughs> spectacular um, featuring Bailey, per usual, and Declan, and a special <laughs> guest, my husband Andrew, uh, for um, some good commentary over Christmas music, Christmas movies, and all kinds of fun. Um, Bailey, <laughs> you have anything to say? Um, Chris, how do you feel about Christmas, Bailey? Uh, I'm, I love Christmas, but I, there's also a part of me that kind of despises it. And it's the part of me that has been in retail for too long. (laughs) So, but generally I love Christmas and. So what do you love most about Christmas? Uh, that's a good question. What I love most about Christmas, I think just being, I'm a huge family person, so being able to see family that either I don't get to see a lot or actually, you know, get to spend some quality time with um, is probably the biggest thing. But yeah, yeah, same. I mean, when you've been in retail for it, kind, it kind for of your like entire life. life um, uh, so, but you look forward to that day. It's a day off. Oh, where you can definitely. Eat food, yeah, eat good food and hang yeah. out with your family. No. Like, it's just leading up to it. So my first job ever was Starbucks. And that was the job that would just, like, ruined it. And I hate even saying that because, like, nothing should really ruin anything. You know, that's a choice you make for yourself. But it, it was, like, it brought out the worst in people. I just, like, went in expecting to get abused every single day by customers. And I was like, if this is what Christmas is all I about. Like that's just Starbucks in general, though. It is. But as your first job, it's like you don't know any different. Yeah. I was, like, 18. Right. Yeah. You're all and cute then the fact and, like, that all like, doe-eyed, <laughs> ready to face the The fact that the they world. just, like, pound Christmas music every single day. And it's just the oh, same yeah. playlist that's on repeat. That was The Gap for yeah. me. I worked at The yeah. Gap in Denton at the Golden Triangle Mall. And it was... Yeah, <laughs> the same like just fifteen songs on repeat, yes. and it was awful. But not all Christmas music is bad. Not all Christmas music is bad, and we can get into that. Um, <laughs> do you want to? We can talk about our favorites, yeah, if you would like. Um, I'll let you start. Uh, well, my all-time favorite is John Lennon's. Is it Happy Christmas? Is that the title? It's Happy Christmas, and that's my number one yeah. too. So we'll just go ahead and call that. Yeah, but I also really love. I'm not a huge fan of. Little Drummer Boy, but the one that David Bowie does with with Bing Crosby, yeah, yeah that one's pretty epic. Yeah. yeah, is that it? Is that what you got? It's yeah. <laughs> so, well, too, my other ones are kind of like <laughs> not even officially Christmas songs, but they're like you know, like Die Hard's like an unofficial Christmas movie. It's like that. So, like Two Thousand Miles by the Pretenders, I think, is just a fantastic. Oh, yeah christmas related song and then river by joni mitchell is just it makes me cry Mm, it's so good right about that song see Mm, there you go (laughs) joni mitchell yeah so those are like my top tier ones but as far as just cheesy christmas music i'm not really here for it (laughs) um but see okay i used to love it as a kid well, sure. When you were so, a kid and not jaded. But like some people, <laughs> some people like still love it even when they grow older. So it's like, what actually, what changed? I, I don't even, I, I can't remember a specific moment in my life where it's just like. I think maybe that is how people try to hold on to those old memories of like what they used to be is like they hold on to that with Christmas, yeah. like sappy Christmas music. It makes them think of a time when the world isn't the way it is now. Right. You know? Yeah. Which is, I don't know. 2020 <laughs> go 2020 so um do we want to introduce yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna have Declan and, and Andrew on for the whole entire show so we have Declan back hey <laughs> Declan pretty much just is here yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Andrew which he is actually generally here too y'all just didn't know that but he's here a lot too <laughs> So we want their input on Christmas. Um, so Declan, do you have any favorite Christmas tunes or some nostalgia for us? 
Oh, man. Um, I don't know, dude. Uh, why don't you let in? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we'll come back to Declan. Down. He's going to think about that. Okay, yeah, let me think about okay, it. Okay, he's going to simmer on it. I guess I can't kick it back over to him. Um, no, I, I'm kind of with Bailey on this. I'm just, like, I think as I get older, I get more jaded by a lot of the music. And, um, and there's also not a lot of, like, good songs coming out like current There's ones new. so you're kind of stuck yeah. in the past with it all yeah. right so yeah so you just get like megan trainer redoing santa baby <laughs> yeah, right? or something it's not like it's, a song not, it's not new like, material it's just yeah. covers of of older songs that i kind of didn't like anyway so right. um yeah so like original stuff is is kind of harder to find now yeah. and i don't know i guess i'm um I mean, I guess I have a few guilty pleasures, like ones that I so maybe like, a little bit ashamed like of. Like they're so they're so bad, they're good. <laughs> yeah, like some '80s ones, I maybe. Think, I think you and I could go back and forth <laughs> on, on our um, cheesy '80s picks. Yeah, like some go. some maybe some Bruce Springsteen and. Oh, so what? So yeah, do y'all know the Bruce Springsteen song? I don't know if I do. It's a live one that they. It is. I feel like I've intentionally avoided that. <laughs> There's a lot of intro on it too. There's a lot of talking. <laughs> He's talking to his. He talks to his bandmates. He mm. asks them if they've been good. There's yeah. a lot of banter. And that sounds really awesome. It was really so. good. It was really good. Um, uh, I know. Do they know it's Christmas? Yeah, there was a lot of like collaboration in the '80s too. Do you know with... that one? Do they know it's Christmas? Was it by like? Um, uh, USA for Africa? Is that who it was? Yeah, or so like Bono's Bob, in it. Bob Geldof put it together. Yeah. yeah, I pretty much, when you said that, I don't know why, but I knew it was one of those compilations. It's like a We Are the World together. for yeah, like yeah, Christmas yeah. time. But it was all like British people. It was like uh, Duran Duran and Bono, right? And Bob Geldof. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who else is was in Was Elvis it. Costello on it? I mean, Maybe. probably. Who cares, right? Yeah, they, I feel like they always, like, every three weeks in the 80s, they had some new charity thing. And, like, live yeah, it was a big deal back then. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. that song, that song is the most condescending. Yeah, like, they like to talk about all the stuff they have. Like, and then, all the like, stuff how the that kids Africa in Africa don't have, have anything. But they're which, like. They're trying to, like, prove a, lot, prove, prove a point, but it's just, yeah. it, it comes across kind of. And, and it's one of those videos, strange. you know, the ones where they're, like, holding their, their earphones like this, like their headphones, <laughs> and they're singing them, <laughs> singing into the microphone like this, and they're, like, really course, feeling it. And they're course. really feeling sorry for the kids in Africa, but they really have no fucking yeah. clue. Yeah, I'm pretty horrible. sure I've seen it at some point in my yeah. life, but I can't. Everyone should go look at that. <laughs> it's tragic and amazing at the same time. Yeah. Um, what about Paul McCartney? Dude, that's probably one of my favorites. Like, unironically, I think that's a good song. <laughs> it's like you know what's so, coming when you hear so that, bad is good. <laughs> that little tune. And it's Paul McCartney, but it's it's a pretty bad song. You know, it's corny, but like. And we haven't know. even finished what it is. So, it's, so to to the listeners and the viewers, it's a wonderful Christmas time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a little story about that. Um, when I was like 11, I got an iPod Touch for Christmas, and. No joke. That is the first song that I downloaded <laughs> onto it. It's Aww, a good song. What a eleven year old Declan. <laughs> that's so cute. That's really cool. cool. That's a great story. Is yeah. that all there is oh, to yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how old I was when the iPod Touch came out. Well, if he was eleven. <laughs> it was like t- uh, 2010, 2011. <laughs> oh, that's we a were long all time ago. <laughs> Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, no, it would have been 2010, dude. 2010, yeah. so Andrew and I were both working on our second marriages, so... That's true, that's true. <laughs> You're I getting an iPod Touch. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing Jelly Car on my iPod Touch. <laughs> oh, innocent times. <laughs> working through some stuff. Anyways, all right, good talk. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, last Christmas. Oh, last Christmas by Wham. Wham. Yeah, oh, that's sweet. a great video that too. Video? If you ever in oh, the yeah. mood for watch like that, or, watch that. I like that, you that guys. one. Yeah, they've got like they're like up in the mountains or something. They're in the like mountains, that. and he's all distraught because this girl is like with another guy, and he remembers last Christmas when he was with her. But come on, guys, he wasn't with her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, he wasn't with her. Yeah, uh, it's good. Classic eighties. Well, yeah. like that song's been redone a lot too i'm sure right yeah everything is yeah, been covered so, yeah. yeah yeah for sure. yeah that's i see i don't 
dislike that part of Christmas music, though. To me, it's like in jazz how they have standards. Like, mm-hmm. It's just standard, like... Well, and it's also Christmas, so like you know that stuff's coming, and then it'll be gone. Yeah, like, that's what's fun in a month's about time it. or whatever. So yeah, then so you don't it's have like to listen to we were talking girl. about like getting burnt out on the old stuff, but it, the old stuff's what makes it nostalgic. So like, what would new Christmas even look like? It's just it's weird. I don't know. Well, and then there's like old Christmas songs like Rudolph and that kind yeah. of thing, yeah. and then there's classic, like classic like like <laughs> hymns like Christmas carols, you know, like kicking it real old school, like Silent Night and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So. Yeah, I mean, there's different degrees of Christmas music, so. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, when was the last, um, like, good Christmas song, do you think, that came out? What decade was that? JB's Christmas album was pretty <laughs> hot. Know. If you ask Mariah Carey, she's probably going to sell an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and also, but like, a lot of artists, that? I like, think they feel like they have to come out with a Christmas she album. So. Did she do that yes. in the 90s? I think so. That's an Which original like Mariah song, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't that's that an original yeah. Mariah song? I think the, I mean, the most recent like Christmas hit is that Ariana Grande one. Although I don't know if that's, mm, I'm assuming that's I don't a know. cover, right? The Santa Tell Me. I don't know, I don't know what you're it. talking about. I yeah, guarantee you you have. It's on the radio like all the time. It but sucks. we don't listen to the radio, Declan. Oh, I do. <laughs> you just I showed, listen to you showed your Halen, age. So. You showed your age and our age. Um yeah, I don't know any Ariana yeah, Grande. I, don't, I actually uh, don't Christmas know that one either. You're on your songs. own right about it. Don't, yeah, yeah, this, don't is, a, this is a Declan it. thing. <laughs> I don't even know if it's real, actually. I think I might have dreamt that. <laughs> but, like, really, when was the last time we had, like, a classic Christmas song? But, like, song? like an original one. Like, you know, Buble, yeah. Buble has done some right. covers, covers that are pretty classic, but it's still a cover. But I really well, think Mariah may have one of the like most recent just epic in your face mm-hmm. like you want it to stop songs well i think a lot of bands they they do come out with stuff but it's just not any good so people don't really listen to it yeah, yeah there hasn't been like a hit yeah there's christmas. like a killers song that's a christmas song but it's I'm sure it's, it's horrible it's terrible. Don't, didn't, didn't they put one out like every year for a while yeah that was like a thing i know the ones i've heard just aren't good but maybe it's just me i don't know <laughs> well no one I, I mean i like the killers but me too mm-hmm. i love no. them but just yeah crap Mm-mm. i don't know why they like green light that all the time like well actually i do know it's because people buy it right like somebody out there there's a big rush on it and then yeah Yeah. so weird yeah Yeah. i know we've sold a lot of well we sold out of the holly dolly christmas um because dolly parton is a treasure yeah but i I think it was mostly her doing covers right that's what i was about to ask were they all covers i think it was mostly covers but what you mean like who doesn't want to hear i think that's pretty much what most current christmas albums are is just a current artist doing covers they're not coming up with new christmas songs yeah Yeah. anyways good talk (laughs) about (laughs) christmas but really though like going back to kind of being jaded about christmas we were kind of having this conversation the other actually us three were Mm -hmm. um just about like being nostalgic and especially during this year when a lot of things have been stripped away from us like I was texting my sister the other day saying, like, let's do this, this, and this. And she was like, who are you? And I'm like, I'm just kind of missing. It's like one thing when you have stuff taken away from you, you realize, like, this was kind of a good thing. Mm-hmm. And I, this year I've found myself wanting to kind of, like, find my inner child again right. during Christmas. Which is, I find interesting to kind of... Well, I mean, the threat of imminent death will do that to you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it'll put it in perspective. Yeah. So it'll just make, like, yeah. make you want to cling on to that, those childhood memories and yeah. stuff. So, yeah. So uh, let's enjoy Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Year. Coming from from Bailey, our personal elf. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, we're all in like black. <laughs> black. <laughs> We've got a whole like nightmare before Christmas. That's our aesthetic in here. Yeah. It's generally my aesthetic all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So (laughs) it is that time of the show when we do something stupid and ridiculous. And so for Christmas, we're going to do kind of a heads up kind of theme where um, we hold up. We don't know what's on here. Um, We hold up a song and the others have to sing it to us and we have to guess it. So they have no idea what they're going to get. 
and we can start off with Andrew. Do you, are, Andrew, do you want to? Well, are they singing or humming? Or? Humming. I'm sorry, humming. Oh, so no you, words. No words. No words. So I get to be the first one. Sure. Okay. There you go. Hope this is the right way. You ready? Is this the last Christmas? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. We're about to bust into some harmonies there. <laughs> okay, Declan, you want to go? Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready? Somebody start off. Somebody start off because I'm laughing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Jingle Bell Rock. Yeah. <laughs> right. Start in two different keys. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey's like the fun oh, of it. He's like off to pull All right. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Oh, this is gonna be weird. Here, I'm gonna have to. Here, just Here I'll do. First. I'll do okay. you. Okay. Oh then. God. Oh. Eesh. <laughs> All right, Andrew, kick us off, buddy. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Is it that good? I gotta go real high. <laughs> Santa baby. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's the <a> worst song. <laughs> yes. I thought you were purposely. Oh, uh, the Madonna it one? Oh, so bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this one, you guys. Mm. Am I gonna know uh, this one? I hope so. We talked about it. We talked about it in our yeah. piece. <laughs> All right. Um, Where are we starting on this? Uh, that's the only part I know to go into. Okay. <laughs> He's doing the instrumental. I, I know it's so song. cute. He knows it. Our audio guy knows it. He's over there jamming. <laughs> it's the. Christmas <laughs> it's got Christmas in it. You yeah. got the Christmas. Part. I know. I don't know the words. It's that's fine. It's do they know it's Christmas? Okay, yeah. I do you know it's Christmas? Because in Africa, apparently, they don't know it's Christmas. They don't. According to <laughs> they don't. pompous British people. Oh, oh, it's that. That's song. that one. Yeah. All right. Is it my turn again? Get back. All right. What? Uh, I only know the chorus. How does that go? It's fine. Let's do it. It's like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I know the harmonies. It's like, <laughs> 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 what? I feel like I should know this. <laughs> you got to imagine it really Let's sharp. Do it a couple too. more times. No. I'm sure I'll get it. <laughs> he's, he's trying to do like all the harmonies at once. <laughs> oh my God. Because <laughs> I can hear it. Uh, is this Little Saint Nick? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. What? Wow. How does the song go? Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, is, it starts no like meaning, a, there's another no line. There's like four harmonies. How, like, going how, does it's like, how does little the Saint go? Nick, little, little Saint Nick, Nick. Yeah. Little Saint Nick. Little Saint Nick. Little Saint Nick. Yeah. It's like that. that. Uh, oh, that's one that like goes. The old fifth, is it like it's oh, Beach Boys, song? Isn't that dude. the one that goes run, run, reindeer? Uh, yeah. Right? I yeah. don't know. Yes. Yeah, that's audio right. guy. Uh. You usually know stuff. <laughs> All right, Declan, I you're up. I tried my best. <laughs> okay. All right. That was great. Oh my gosh. He'll know this, right? He yeah, should. who wants to do this? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. That's a terrible song. Uh, is it my turn? I think so. Yeah, yeah I think that's how All we right. did it last time. Right. Okay. Oh, we. Did we just already do that? that one. Oh. Is that one in there twice? Yeah, you put it did I place. put it back in there? Okay. Okay. We can do that one again. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Are we just doing the line that the oh. song is titled after? Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. Huh? Oh, you, do I need uh, to hold it up oh, the whole no, time? That's fine. Don't, you guys see no this? There's no rules here. Or actually, okay, you want to start with the verse? I'm. I feel like I'm in love, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Bravo. I, I want hate you for Christmas. making us do that. That's amazing. Isn't that from Love Actually? Yeah, it's in it. I hate that movie. We'll talk about that later. I hate that. No, no, no. We'll talk oh, about it later. Okay. That's after this. Right. That's after this. <laughs> Or mixed reviews about that. the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show us the back line. All right, ready? One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
it's just toxic. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it, actually. I, I'll fight anybody yeah, about that. I'm it's, with you. It is a bad storyline. All, all of the storylines are bad. Yeah, there's not, like, one good... Mm-mm. Usually those movies that they make like that, they're, like, vignettes of, like, other other things going on. They're usually pretty bad. Yeah. So it's... Okay. So it's, it's one like of those. So it's, like, a Quentin Tarantino, like, a... Uh, what's, that, what's that movie with Tom Cruise in it that's, like, eight hours long? You know what, what I'm talking about? It's eight hours it's long. Daniel... No, no, no. What's that guy's name? Uh, P.T. Anderson did it. Came there Will of, Be Blood? No, oh, really Magnolia? Magnolia. Oh, Magnolia. Oh, Magnolia's yeah, a like pretty Magnolia. good movie. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying it's like that. It's like those mini, like... Like multiple storylines yeah, multiple, happening at yeah, once. Yeah. Yes, but yeah. they're all really poorly written storylines yeah, about all one good story how, line. like, just sad love love stories. Sad love during the holidays. Yeah. It's the worst. I don't want to think about my sad it's, love it's life classic, during the like, holidays. It's a classic with, like, the montage music in the background, you know. Yeah, so it just, feels like a boardroom. It's just bad. Came up with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I need to say mine. What's yours? Eyes Wide Shut. For a Christmas oh, movie? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is a Christmas, a Christmas movie. movie. Wait, as one you love or hate? Oh, no, I love it. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I was movie. about to, like... <laughs> I know why you love I... it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. No, yeah, it's a good movie, dude. Yeah. That or... Uh, I, I consider The Shining a Christmas movie, too. Because, I mean, it's a winter, like... It's winter, but it's not. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I put it in that. Christmas, like, it feels though. like a Christmas movie. To so, me. It's like people say Die Hard's a Christmas well, yeah, movie. Yeah, I think that counts, it's too. It's a Christmas time. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, but, like... Christmas movies, to me, I, like, I only want to watch them at Christmas time. I can watch Die Hard any okay, time of okay, the year. So. That's my thought. It doesn't have to be yours, but, like... Yeah, like, you'll guess, only watch them once a year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't watch what Elf, like, year-round. Mm-mm. Yeah. But, well, what are some other Christmas movies... I feel like we're missing some big ones, and I can't think of My them. family, every single year, has to watch White Christmas. <laughs> my brother's shaking his head, because we just had this whole long conversation with my family, like, can we please switch it up? This It's a great movie. I think it's good, but there's only so many years you can watch something in a row. <laughs> yeah, and there's some other classics, like It's a Wonderful Life and yeah. Miracle yeah. on 34th Street, those ones. Christmas with the Cranks with Tim Allen. I forgot about that one. <laughs> I love and that Fred movie. Claus. Of course you do. <laughs> Tim Allen's in it. Oh my gosh. I think I just love Tim Allen's sarcasm. Really? What? Yeah. I don't think it's sarcasm. He's very sarcastic. Mm. I think he's the most boring dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so stale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're just gonna have to. We're yeah, gonna. I'm a lone yeah. wolf on that one. <laughs> you're gonna agree to disagree <laughs> on that one, Bailey. <laughs> but that's okay. He's over there living his Chevy Chase. Anyone so. wants to comment? <laughs> who else loves Tim Allen? Yeah, who else loves Tim Allen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like Toy Story. Yeah, he's okay in that because I can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have an issue with the way he looks or just no just he's just obnoxious <laughs> so yeah we got to be missing some There's yeah no, what about um it's darker but what about bad santa yeah bad santa is pretty good i haven't seen that one. One. oh really no, it, it's, wow, that... it's pretty good oh dude jingle all the way with arnold schwarzenegger <laughs> and, <laughs> and sinbad sinbad that, that guy <laughs> no dude wasn't okay. he in that uh basketball or was it like a genie movie or something? He was in. Wait, what was? You know what one? I'm talking about? Sinbad. He was in some genie movie. Are, you're not thinking about Shaq and Kazam, are you? <laughs> That's <laughs> that's Shaq. not Sinbad. That's not Sinbad. <laughs> Equally bad on the acting. Well, yeah, Shaq's probably a little worse. So wait, who is Sin? Like, <laughs> Sinbad? are we getting caught up on Sinbad? <laughs> I feel like there's what a. I feel like I've read a thing about like where people think that Sinbad was in a movie. Like there, <laughs> it was probably Kazam. It's, they think he was in Kazam, but he wait, wasn't. I think, it was. I think I know what you're talking. What about. is that called? When it's when, a Mandela effect. Yeah, that's yes, why a Mandela thought. effect. Yes. It's a Sinbad man- yeah. <laughs> Mandela effect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, he was who, not. Who in is that. that guy? Sinbad? Yeah. He's a stand up comedian and I he think was he was on a show <laughs> in the oh in the late eighties that, that spin off from the Cosby show, Different World, wasn't he in that? 
Or am I thinking that of might be else? a Mandalorian? <laughs> I don't know. The, what was Sinbad actually in? <laughs> That's what we need to figure out. Let's do some research and get back. I don't know. I don't know what he was actually in. All right, sorry. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> And we got to touch on the Mandela effect, so like that's good. So jingle all the way. <laughs> uh, God, Christmas movies. What else? There's some scary ones, or Christmas. supposedly scary ones. Remember what? that one with T.J. Miller in it that came out a few years ago? Who's T.J. Really Miller? Bad. Who's T.J. Miller? T.J. Miller. Um, he's in that Silicon or was in that Silicon Valley show. Oh that guy. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's fun. Oh, yeah, we're, like the office party yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in an office party, and they do like a jump off a bridge. Yeah, in Jason car. Bateman's in that one, too. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. Is it not office party or office, or office Christmas? Christmas? Office party? Christmas party? I think that's what Something it's called. Something like that. Yeah. And Kate okay. McKinnon in that? Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah. Or Jennifer Aniston? Yeah. Pro- oh, again, yeah, she's probably. in it. Yeah. It must have it been great good, if we... I can't yeah, remember anything really about it. really left an impression <laughs> on you guys. I mean, obviously, there's old school, like... Frosty and like oh yeah, like Charlie little, Brown yeah. Christmas, yeah, That's yeah. Like TV yeah, stuff. yeah, and like the little yeah, puppets, yeah. Star like Wars Christmas special. <laughs> What's the other one? Uh, Rudolph, the yeah. Rudolph one. Are you talking about like the actual puppet, like the little like, cla- yeah, the claymation, claymation one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are cool. Yeah, I remember being a kid, like looking forward to those cartoons every single year. Yeah, me too. Like, those were very I was nostalgic. Of those as a kid. They're a little creepy, but I, I enjoyed them. I did not like the Charlie Brown. I've always loved creepy things, even as a kid. Right, I, like all the creepy cartoons. I was all about it. Do y'all not find Charlie Brown off-putting? I do. Okay. Yeah. Just because it's very boomer to me. It's well, it's, <laughs> okay, but you love boomer. Really be, I know, but it's like minions. You're like the non-boomer like, you know how boomer. Boomers are like all into minions. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like a weird gimmick. <laughs> the boomers are into minions. Is that, is that a, a thing? Is that a thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is, uh, are you sure? Dude, yes. Are I you didn't in know like, that. Are you in like a boomer like <laughs> chat room or something, or like a Facebook group for boomers? But you're like I... secretly. Are you? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> He's crying. He's oh studying the the art of the boomer. <laughs> He's gonna write like <laughs> a book yeah. about boomer. Boomer apology. <laughs> So with the boomer group, they are they non-boomers that talk about boomers, or are they boomers that talk about themselves? No, it's boomers. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why do they like minions? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> so they like Steely Dan and minions. And minions. Oh my gosh. Uh, and Chevy Chase. <laughs> and Chevy <Jen and> Fletch. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh. Why minions? <laughs> Did you ask them? Know. Yeah, but no. I, are you just playing along with it so you don't stand out? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like yeah, yeah, minions. <laughs> <laughs> do you have like a fake like identity no, for this? Dude. Do they have, like, do you have to have I'm an. Just in this boomer group. Do you have Is an it avatar called? on it and everything? Yes, it's called boomer posting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I have so many questions. Um, but that is so funny. <laughs> Boomer posting. It's kind of like our Twin Peaks shit oh, that, That's true. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm part of like multiple Twin Peaks groups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh God. The Boomer win. Oh man. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Minions. Minions, you guys. Boomers like minions. <laughs> I don't know that. Like the correlation there. Yeah, I don't know. Can I mean, you find that out for Okay, us? it's something about the psychology. They like it's the same reason why they bought chia pets. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how they used to buy chia pets? Uh huh. It's like a they fall for gimmicks. They like the the novelty. <laughs> <laughs> Do they like a like Big Billy Bass, like the singing fish? Do boomers like that? I don't know what that is. Oh, oh what? what? Oh man, we showed our age there. Yeah, what is that? Audio, audio, you know before. that, right? Okay. Oh yeah, he's yeah, probably he got knows. One. He's back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you should like ask them about Big Billy Bass. They'll probably okay, know what yeah, that I'll is. Oh yeah, they'll go crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they like boomers like novelties. Yeah, dude. They they really uh. And and well, of course, like you think about 
the kind of stuff that like grandmothers buy. Like like people in the boomer generation love trinkets and novelty and mm-hmm. and like w- random shit that's like it's programmed to make them laugh. I don't know. <laughs> and so do you? Do, are you part of this group just to observe, or yeah, do you? I'm just like, observing. Like, I'm I'm taking a, a page taking out notes? of Sun Tzu's Art of War. You observe the enemy. <laughs> You call it the enemy, but you really do enjoy some boomer stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I like boomers, dude. I like boomer stuff. Yeah. I mean, I made a whole playlist that I he think did. we're going to post. It was a pretty epic playlist for boomers um, or people that like boomer rock. I feel like we went on a tangent there, but that yeah. was really that was entertaining. Fun, so that's it for our Christmas special. Christmas 2020. Christmas 2020. 20, yo. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm looking so, forward to uh, Christmas 2021 when hopefully I can go shopping and Actually, travel yeah. and do all the things that I miss. Yeah. I'm asking Santa for all of those things. <laughs> so we <laughs> <laughs> um, this was entertaining. Uh, thank you for Declan and uh, Andrew for being on our show. Um, yeah. Tune in next time. For more, <laughs> for more, just I don't know, I don't weird, know. weird, boomer talk, and who knows, <laughs> who knows where it'll go. We never know where it'll go, and that's that's the joy of it. Yeah. So, we will see you guys next time.